All right, what's going on guys? So by the title of this video, you already know what I have. Um, picked up some new wheels. I was out of town this weekend and on my way back, uh, I picked up some new wheels. So uh, I'll show you that right now. So here they are. These are uh, Enki RPF ones. They're the SBCs, I believe. Um, they're like the black car ones, so. They're not silver, but they're not black. They kind of have like that, uh, I don't know. They look, like right now on the camera, they look, I guess, silver. I don't really know, but it's a dope color. I've always wanted black chrome uh, wheels on my car. Um, but I'm also going for that kind of track look and uh, more meaty fitment. Um, for the people who, who hasn't been following my car for that long, um, I had uh, 10 and a halfs. Um, with 225, 35, 18s on them. So it was like a huge stretch. Um, these are actually only nine and a halfs with uh, 265, 35, 18s. They have Toyo Proxies uh, T1s on them. And um, yeah, I guess they're I guess they're good tires. I'm, I'm coming from Nankang's stretch tires. So i um, still learning about what tires are good, what tires are not. But yeah, I actually picked these up for 1400 bucks. Which is a really good deal because these wheels alone retail for like, um, I think, fifteen to seventeen hundred, depending on where you order them from, and uh, plus tires. I'm guessing like another six hundred, maybe. I'm not really sure, but I mean they got some they got some rash here and there, but I mean no big deal. They're not even clean either, so <clears throat> um, I ran to AutoZone because um, I actually have these. Uh, lug nuts that require a key for them and i lost mine so i had to go to autozone uh pick up another set of lug nuts with the key so and then i'm gonna just return them when i'm done with the key hopefully they accept it because um that show was like 40 bucks so uh yeah i'm gonna start by jacking up the car and um taking off these wheels and then um seeing what the fitment is like with these this is actually what i was talking about so i'm gonna try and open up this package as nicely as possible so when I do return it um, I don't know just want to open up nicely just so uh, doesn't I mean I talked to the guy already he's like yeah you can return them probably I'll see what the manager says so I was like fuck it um, I'll just get him but <clears throat> if anything I'll just keep him I guess I, I do need a key so key out uh, Really hope this fits. And it fits. Alright, great. Uh, so I'm going to start by uh, loosening the front two wheels and then um, jack up the car and then mount the front twos and then through the back. So I'll uh, do a time lapse of that right now. Alright, I'm going to start uh, jacking up the car right now. I think I'm just gonna, I just decided I'm gonna do one side at a time. It's probably a little bit easier anyway, so. Oh man. I haven't jacked this thing up in a minute. Uh, all right, so. Got that all done. Just some these real quick. I hate these stupid like key things. Because honestly, if I even, if, if I had to cut this one, I'd probably lose it. So, probably gonna re up on like probably five of these or something. I've seen them on eBay go for like 10 bucks, which isn't bad. I can buy like five of them for the price of this one with the fucking lug nuts. So, Wow, these feel a lot better than I thought they would. All right, so this isn't lowered or anything, but uh, that's how the tire sticks out. So these are, um, there's a nine and a half with a, a 15 mil offset and a 15 mil spacer. Um, the reason why I have the, the 15 mil spacer is because on my previous wheels, I had um, 22 offset. Um, and then it didn't clear my brake caliber. 
Um, I didn't know that much about offsets and stuff, and I still really don't. So, um, I'm going to put this wheel on and see how much it, um, what's it called? Camber's in. Because, I mean, this is pretty aggressive. Even though if I'm going to be on air, that's still, like, a lot of poke. So, uh, let's see how it, uh, looks when it's lowered. Um, and then, if anything, I'll probably just take off the, the spacer because, <clears throat> I mean, that that's, like, pretty much 15 millimeters right there. I don't really know. I'm just kind of guessing, but <clears throat> I'm going to... Tighten up this and then uh, do the backs real quick and uh, see how that side, see how the side looks. All right, so wheels are decently tight, so I'm gonna start by lowering it. I fucking hate this jack, cause if you go too hard, then it's gonna drop super fast. But oh fuck, Jesus Christ! There we go. All right. Yeah. I can already tell. I'm going to have to take off that um, 15 mil spacer. It's just uh, it's hitting my fender too much. And I'm not I'm not down to um, run that much camber. And I'm not down to pull my fender. So probably take that off. The backs. Yeah. The backs is close. To be honest, like I think I'm going to have to run a little bit of camber on the back. Um... Just because when I'm aired out, um, I want it to be tucking a little bit. Because I can already tell, like, if I if I air it out, if I had uh, um, air suspension and I aired out, it would definitely hit my fenders on the back. But, yeah, I'll probably take off the space on the front. It looks terrible right now. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much how it sits. The back, um, well, I'm air, oh, when I get air suspension, the, it's going to look totally different, but on these coilovers, these are actually maxed out, so they don't go that low. Um, for the fronts, you can already tell, like, it's maxi poke right now, and I hate it. So, I'm going to uh, start by uh, jacking the car back up. Taking off the 15 mil spacer and then uh, see how it looks after that. All right, so I just realized can't take off the front spacers just because uh, I'm by myself and uh, no one's here to step on the brakes. So I'm just gonna put all four on, see how it sits, and then uh, if my friend Scott comes, then uh, take off the spacers and clean up the wheels and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna start by putting the front wheel back on, and then start on this side. All right, so Michael showed up. Um, we're having some trouble getting this spacer off just because uh, there's these uh, lug nuts that a shop put on. Um, and we can't get, like, any... We can get a socket on there, but we can't take the socket off the stud. I mean, the, the lug nut. So it's just giving us a hard time. But right now he's giving it a go because he's more experienced than I am. So... Oh no, we'll see how it goes. Both of them? Yep. Alright, dope. Thanks. Ugh. Fuck that, dude. Doesn't look so good with this off. Huh? Doesn't look so good with this off. Yeah, I know, huh? We'll be sitting on the fender anymore. <laughs> I'll be sitting like flush, probably. What have you been doing all day? I've been a lazy cunt all day. Oh. Fixing some stuff on the Z as well. What'd you fix? Well, the water pump belt threw itself off, so put that back on. Damn. Yeah, that's fun. You know, beater car shit. <laughs> Z's. Indeed. It's, the wheel's not straight. Oh, yeah, you're right. Where? Okay, so which lugs are you going to use? Well, the silver ones. Wait, these, these Oh, guys. fuck no, dude, here. Oh. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Four. Five. <laughs> here. 
you have the socket for these? Or? Um, yeah. Here's that. Good. And see if this one fits. Good. Yep. Alright. Yeah, I can already tell it's gonna sit. Oh, yeah. It's sitting a lot better. Mm -hmm. If anybody wants some 5x114 eBay special spacers, hit me up. I can hook you up with these things. I'll slap them on the Z31 just to see how they look like. Oh, I can hear fucking Scott. Yeah, put it. No, seriously, put them on the on the back of the Z31. Have yeah. that stance, that stagger look. Because it's like it sits all. Yours is five five look, right? Yeah. Let's see. What what size are your tires? I think they're two uh, fifteens. You want some two fifty fives? No, seriously. Uh, you can, you can, I don't, I think the Z32s are 225s. What up? I mean, I'll slap them on there just to see what they look like. Fuck right, it. Dude. Why not? The, the, those ones, the back ones have cord on, I have cord a little bit just because I did a couple burnouts. Oh, there, girl, I'll do more. <laughs> What's up, Scott? What up? How's it work? Dude, you always fucking have Red Bull. It's it, delicious. It's ridiculous. You know how much that is, a big can of Red Bull? How much? Five bucks. Oh my god. Yeah. What have you been doing? Just That's... fucking chilling. How's work? That was alright, it was boring. <laughs> so wait, where do you go? You went up to the bay again or what? This last weekend? No, this, just right now. No, I was at my security job. Oh. Yeah, boring. Security job. <laughs> Vape life, dude. I know. Get the batteries all charged up. Somebody got some new tent. Oh, no, it's a Looks really good. Hey, so what's up with Bloodstang? It's a new Mustang club we got going now. Really? Yeah. What's this up? The, uh, one of the guys in the club has a, a bagged, uh, you know Zombie Zombie 5 -0? Have you heard of him before? Uh, maybe. I would have yeah. to see his car. It's, ba it's a bagged 5 -0 out of LA. Oh, really? He came yeah. up all the way over here? No, he, he's he's local. He's, or he's not local. He's from LA, but... But he, he, Were you kicking it with him this weekend? We were no, we didn't not this weekend, but uh, we want to go to LA and, and meet with them uh, next uh -huh. weekend, yeah, or oh. two weeks from now. That's sick. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, I, I need to buy an extension for that thing. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. I need to wash these wheels too. They're fucking dirty. I was thinking about driving it today, taking it on Terry. But next time. You should drive it. Eh, I'll clean it. I don't, I'm not gonna drive it yet. I can't wait to like feel the grip on these tires though. I want. I really want to see like how good they are. What tires are they? They're called Toyo Proxies T1s. Okay. Great oh, tires. I don't know. I mean, Toy. I heard Toyo does a good job, so. Mine as well. I drove T1Rs. Are these T1Rs? No, nah, they're the T1, T1 Sports. Sports. Okay, the T1Rs, are, those are the ones I drove, and those are... Oh, so stinky. But yeah, I got these things for 1400 bucks. on. Looks 10 times better with the uh, spacer off. Now we're just trying to see, because this wheel is like different than that wheel this side's lower by a couple millimeters than that side what really yeah that's so weird should we should, we, should i lower it real quick well you can either lower the front right a little bit or raise this one a little bit to match the front right yeah, and since it. this one has the weird fitment oh wait no the other side has it's up to you you could raise it just a little bit no oh, fuck that i'm gonna lower it Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, uh... Huh? Maximum, you're gonna lower it. No, in the front. Well, the backs are different, too. I think. Because, like... That is flush. The back's sitting perfectly. If you could get the front... No, look. Now, come look at this. Look, that one's flush, but this one's poking. Oh, yeah, you're right about that. Wow. Hmm. Look at, look, see that? And look at this. This is flush. Yeah. 
Dude, this video's gonna be so much longer than it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, you should edit a lot of that out. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that weird? Maybe my fenders just aren't pulled that much. I'm not sure. But this fitment definitely needs some work. Dude, like that is perfect. That is perfect. Exactly how I want it to be. I think you need to go get in alignment more than anything. <laughs> yeah. Then the problems will just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. All right. Well, uh, it's good now, I guess. But shout out to Michael for helping me. But, um, yeah, I'm actually going to take this thing out and wash it just because I kind of want it to look pretty. I don't know why, but I love taking care of this thing, but I do want to take it to the track and beat on it a little bit. Autocross? Yeah, autocross. But, yeah, uh, put down in the comments what you guys think. And uh, All right, so this is basically how it sits. So, I mean, it's obviously going to... It's not honestly not drivable right now just because it's uh, rubbing on my fender when I turn the wheel. But I'm only going to lay frame when I'm not driving the car. So, I mean, that's not really a big deal to me. That's why I want to go air just because I want it to be functional. But at shows, I want it just fucking laying on the frame. Suspension and you don't want to autocross your tine coilovers because you'd rather autocross it on airbags. Fuck it. Cross the tines. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. I'm just... I don't know. I, I, I want to drive... I want to... I don't know. Fuck. I'm going to keep the coilovers, but... We'll get four bathroom scales and corner balance it, and you'll be... <laughs> anyway, well, I'm going to wash this and then put it back in the garage, but... Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe for more. Uh, I'm going to have a lot of videos coming up. Especially with these two guys and a couple other people that you've seen on the channel. But yeah, we got a lot of videos coming with this car and a lot of everyone else's car. Um, hopefully, you're going to go see these two track their cars. Uh, this When is it? The 17th? 17th of June. Yeah, 17th of June. <clears throat> but maybe I'll do a video of that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Comment what you guys think. Um, but yeah, guys, see you in the next video. Peace.